in our first video we showed you how to view the, the HD SDI DVRs live but um, we didn't really go into the playback side of CMS Pro so in this video I'm going to run you through CMS Pro and its features to do with playback so first of all let's get into the playback part of CMS Pro we click on application we go to search and you didn't quite see it there but um, it brought up a totally different window we can drag that window and play it back into a separate uh, computer screen if we had one connected um, but for this exercise we'll just play it back here so what does that do well let's first of all connect to the DVR so once it's connected we'll be able to start playing back and you can see it really quickly just brings up a video stream from our DVR and it's a playback stream so it's not even live stream this is instantly goes back and grabs video from wherever you start along this time bar so if we just went to there press play and instantly it changes to that time frame very quick indeed so let's just stop that uh, that there for a moment that's our time bar search so literally all we need to do is press stop come down here onto the time bar and move that anywhere along here then press play again and you'll see the images start to come up and start playing back if we wanted to go full screen no problem if we wanted to go uh, nine screen we need to first stop the video press 16 play the video and all of the screens will start popping up so let's go back to our single screen mode and if we wanted to we could actually enter into a digital zoom mode so as you can see this is camera number one if we wanted to zoom out we can do that if we wanted to zoom in if we wanted to move it around we just click on this little box over here and if we want to hop out of it altogether we can there or we can just exit pretty straightforward now let's say we had an incident and if we go back to let's say around about here and we press play you'll notice there was a truck there but if we scrolled over here and we press play again it's gone so when did it go now that could be a uh, bottle of whiskey in a in a liquor store it could be a, a bag in a bag shop anything that you want to find when it went missing so we can do that a couple of different ways let's go to the thumbnail search so in the thumbnail search we have camera 2 we have a time frame now if we went back to our time bar search we would have started off at um, around about uh, I think it was about 25 past and uh, the end search was about about there so let's go back to thumb, uh, our uh, thumbnail search so if we click down here and we start off at about 25 we finished up at about 50 alright so let's just do a quick search there it picks up a duration time here so if we click on there uh, you can change the duration which it picks up that thumbnail image 
and we press search. Now what will happen is it just brings up those thumbnails three minutes apart so you know 25 is where we started 28 three minutes apart. How do we find out where that incident is? Well you look at the thumbnail there, trucks there, trucks gone. So if we click on that it loads the video into this section here but of course that's not very big uh, so if we wanted to see a little bit better of what's going on we just drag that up there drag it off the screen whichever onto the other screen whichever we want to do um, we can zip it back down if we wanted to or bring it up and then we wait for the incident to occur because we we know that we've only got to wait uh, maximum of three minutes and then the incident will happen so it allows us to basically pinpoint when that incident is so if we have a look here um, it happens around about the 35 minute mark for memory uh, the guy gets into the truck truck starts up and away we go so very very quickly we're able to pinpoint where that incident occurred so let's close that for the moment and stop the video there if we wanted to do that a slightly different way we could go into our smart search feature Now, smart search is exactly that if we bring this up sorry I'll go down select camera number two uh, we can pick up all this is motion area motion sensitive area so like on the DVR uh, we want to limit where that motion is because we've got trees flashing around there so obviously if um, uh, the trees pick up the motion uh, sorry the motion detection picks up those trees moving around then that's going to give us a false trigger so we can see that that's pretty clear if a car goes past or anything it's not going to set it off so let's just set up that area there really nice and easy and we come down to search time so we know that search time was for this exercise we'll just put it 30 seconds ahead before the event happened and we can choose any time really afterward so we just get down to there okay so let's see what happens so as you can see here in this small window again if we want to go up and see uh, a bigger view of it every time the software picks up a motion event um, inside this window it will then flag a small little window over here so as you can see it's picking up lots of motion events there truck drives off and we're left up here with a motion event window so let's just click that down there stop the recording we found our incident and there it is so if we had multiple little windows up here all we need to do is click on the window and it will immediately start playing back the incident and of course you can drag it up there and see more of the incident and we can play back instantly um, from that time so that's really quite an effective thing um, quite an effective feature and if we wanted to do an event search so let's say the DVR has been set up for motion activation um, we wanted to find all the incidents uh, within the DVR so again if we just go back down to the period that we've got uh, so we don't pick up uh, thousands of events if I've set it up like that alright so we've got a small little window of opportunity for it to find a whole lot of events there so let's just do a quick search and see what motion events come up so inside the DVR whole bunch of events it's really 
quite straightforward so if we click on that there's our truck going and if that wasn't the event let's say it was that one we could check here uh, there might be a car driving past or something that's uh, triggered that one off all depends on where I had the motion events set up inside the DVR so this is inside the DVR whereas the smart search is inside this software so now that we know when that event occurred we know that it started at that time there All right, we can see the truck driving off so we'd really want to take say 10 seconds beforehand to let's say 30 seconds afterwards alright so the event occurred at around about 35 so we're going to go uh, 34 50 and come back down to the time bar search so this is where you do your archiving you can see the little archive button there we come up here we see 35 is already set there we're just going to go down to 34 take that down to say 55 go up to 36 can leave that down there that gives us 10 seconds before and a minute after pretty straightforward which camera okay we better put in a a name for it so we come down here we pick a nice place to put it and we call it uh, truck leaving you notice there it says we make it as an executable file so as you can see it's just uh, encrypting a file making it into a self start executable file it's an encrypted file so uh, if uh, it was challenged in court then there wouldn't be an issue if we started off uh, back down here at 35 press play and let's say we wanted to do a screen capture of that we can pretty straightforward do that uh, with um, enter digital zoom press play leave it play on as you can see that's full screen again press stop let's just go back to where that incident started now that we're in zoom press play again and screen capture so we've captured it as well as caught the video pretty straightforward so let's uh, let's hop out of this software now and bingo there's our truck leaving executable file so if we double click on that brings up its own little special playback screen if we were to play it brings it up full screen there's an encrypted video file in 1080p straight to your uh, hard drive I really don't think it gets easier than that